Okay. Um, well, as you probably know, Lady Killers was originally a wonderful film, an old dealing comedy. Um, so when the stage adaptation was made um, three, three years ago, um, an obvious problem was how do you get all of the variety of the film actually on a stage. Uh, it's meant to indicate uh, two, two rooms are involved, the old ladies um, uh, room here uh, and then the room that she lets out to the gang of crooks yeah. uh, pose, who are posing as musicians. Um, we've obviously got limited space in the town hall so that adds to the problems but um, basically we've got uh, two areas here they can spill over into each other depending on how crowded they get. Um, and uh, the, uh, the, this is going back here into uh, uh, an apparent kitchen yeah. area. Um, I think it, it, it works quite well because I don't like totally naturalistic drama anyway. Right. You know, I don't think that's an essential thing. The essential thing is the words and the acting yeah. in a good play. Um, so we've managed to to do it uh, in a, in a way that does create this sense of two rooms. Uh, we're stuck for um, exits and entrances in the town hall, so a lot of the entrances and exits have to be through the audience or out at the back, and uh, um, that's another consideration. Um, another consideration, of course, is that the 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 play talks about. Um, some of the gang climbing out of the window with the money onto a railway line where two of them come to a very sticky end falling onto the line so we had that to deal with uh, by trying to say okay we can, we, can, <laughs> we can simulate an inside and an outside of that yeah. window by hinging that flat around and then at some point some poor character has to climb out of here with a suitcase of money, which um, doesn't quite work, and then fall to his death down the uh, rail, the imaginary railway line. There, a lot of sound effects will will help this. Um, very good sound effects. The whole house is meant to uh, vibrate with trains going by. I'm not sure if we can arrange that, but we might be able to sort of a bit of <laughs> bit of juddering around somehow. Um, a bit. Yeah. And when you start, when did you start the whole thing? Did you start with a drawing or something in your mind or watch yeah, the film just, again? And... It, it just started out as a, as, a, as a drawing, really. You know, you, you sort of have rough sketches. And, yeah. um, um, the interesting thing was, you know, Pete, as I say, had done. Um, his sort of layout, yeah. like, like that. Yeah. And then I, I rolled up with you know just some very rough sketches, and and it turned out to be you know we were working, um, singing from the same hymn sheet as yeah. they say you know so we, and, and a lot of that's dictated by the space we've got and the um, actually building the scenery is a constant process of adapting and. Um, you know, to some extent, rebuilding bits and pieces that we've got already. Um, so this, for instance, was the uh, the window in the last production, right. which is going to get uh, altered, redecorated, yeah. recycled, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Is this the most challenging one you've done so far? Um, in practical terms, probably it is. Yes. Mm. Uh, Blythe Spirit was a good one because that had all sorts of things that had to. Uh, drop and bump and crash around with the poltergeists and the spirits and that sort of thing but um it's it's basically quite good fun doing it it's uh, i don't regard it as difficult you know it's just um uh, getting things to work within the got, space we've got. you've got a team of people as well with got yeah dave, dave yeah dave moore, moore is uh the, the long-standing and essential help on this and also we've got help from um Andy Watts this time, who's done quite a bit of work um, making props and so on so for TV, as well as his own furniture business. He's he's got a background in architecture and design, which is great. You know, so he's very keen to get involved in making the set as well. So another big thing, of course, is that there is no stage in the town hall, uh, so we have to actually create the the, the 
sense of a theatre from scratch every time. All of this business here is uh, the stage blocks from that we borrowed from Fairland School. Um, so the first few hours of building this are literally building it from from the ground up um, with the staging blocks. But we're we're quite used to it now, so it's a, it's a fairly well organised process, I think, and uh, um, all aiming for a dress rehearsal on the Sunday night, and the finishing touches before we get the uh, first night on Wednesday. Yeah. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> <laughs>